Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer McCaw and I'm a biologist from the company Biogens AG in Regensburg, Germany. Today I would like to present some field experiment results that are comparing the collection performance of the new BG Pro mosquito traps to some conventional traps such as the CDC, EVS and BG Sentinel traps that were conducted in various locations around the world. Mosquito traps are important tools that are used by the public health researchers worldwide for the surveillance of vector and nuisance mosquito populations. And trap development really goes back to the early 1900s. After the development of the New Jersey light trap in the 40s, researchers realized the need for, the, for a lightweight and portable trap that they could easily operate in the field and also allow for live capture of mosquitoes, which is especially important for arbovirus isolation. Now this was really the birth of the CDC light trap in the early 60s, which has since then been used for decades now and not much has changed since. Um, together also with the EVS trap and the BG Sentinel trap, these are the most commonly and widely used traps for ad uh, adult mosquito surveillance today. Now Biogens has recently developed a new modular mosquito trap called the BG Pro, which was developed to offer the various functions of these widely used surveillance traps while providing at the same time patented technology, higher quality of parts, and a design expertise. This trap offers the flexibility to be used in different styles so that it can be easily changed just by adding or removing some key parts such as a UV light, the rain shield, or a tripod to have the trap stand on the ground. And you can see here on the right the three basic styles in which the BG Pro can be used. Um, here Caro is holding in her left hand or her right hand a CDC style trap uh, which includes the UV light and a rain shield. The EVS style hanging trap here is on the right which just uses carbon dioxide as an attractant and then we can have a BG Sentinel style trap with a tripod that is sitting on the ground. There are several advantages that the pre BG Pro is bringing with us compared to conventional surveillance traps. For example, it is easy to transport and assemble and it's flexible in its use. The trap and all of its parts can fit into the insulated carrying bed for easy transport. And you can see here on the right, it can also be used as the dry ice container. The collection bag here in the BG Pro is located above the fan so that the mosquitoes do not pass through the fan and are less damaged compared to the CDC or EVS traps. This allows for the collection of live mosquito and also allows for specimens to be easier identified. In any case, if there is a need for trapping extreme large numbers of mosquitoes, the catch bag can be removed and the mosquitoes are sucked through the ventilator. You see that here, the catch bag's removed, mosquitoes are being sucked through the ventilator and they're caught here in the main body of the trap. Another advantage of the trap is the automatic shutter system, which is integrated into the funnel so that if the power supply is cut off for any reason, the shutter automatically shuts and the caught mosquitoes cannot escape. The trap has high quality electrical parts and a novel three bladed fan, which causes less damage to the collected mosquitoes. At the same time, this fan can run off of either a five volt, six volt or 12 volt power supply, which allows for variable power sources. As I just mentioned, um, the variable power sources is an advantage. You can run it off a 6 to 12 volt motorcycle or car battery, off of a mains power supply, or even a power bank, which is, in my opinion, one of the biggest advantages of this new trap. You see here we have a low power consumption with the new three blade ventilator, which consumes less power and thus increases the battery life, and it provides the option here of using a power bank. Um, just a short comparison, the BG Pro uses three blades with a lower suction speed than the typical EVS and CDC traps are using, and we can see here the wattage that is needed is almost halved in this case. The new BG Pro was thoroughly tested in the field and compared to conventional surveillance traps in 10 studies across seven countries covering five continents. You can see here some of the locations were in the US, Germany, France, Mozambique, Brazil, Australia, and Tahiti. And this allowed for the evaluations under varying climatic conditions and for different target species. Various trap configurations and attractions were also evaluated in, the, in these experiments. And all of the experiments that I will now present all followed a Latin square design with trap rotations after either 24 or 48 hours to control for position-related effects. 
So these first three studies were conducted in Germany to see the efficacy of the BG Pro in collecting floodwater mosquitoes such as Aedes vexans, Culiceta anulata, Aedes cyticus, um, but also some house mosquitoes such as Culex pipiens. In these first two experiments on this side, we compared the BG Pro CDC style to the original CDC trap. And you can see here um, in both experiments. The only difference really was that we ran the BG Pro here on the left side on 6 volts, um, on the right side or in the middle on 5 volts. And in both situations, the BG Pro trap significantly outperformed the original CDC trap in collecting um, female mosquitoes in Germany, which were primarily Aedes vexans, floodwater mosquitoes, and some Culex species, some house mosquitoes. The third experiment on the right, we wanted to see in Germany whether or not the BG Pro CDC style um, compared similarly to the original BG Sentinel trap in collecting these same mosquito species. So we see here the BG Pro Sentinel style and the BG Sentinel style. There was no significant difference um, between those two traps, which is um, an okay result for us. These next two experiments looked at the efficacy for collecting Aedes aegypti in both Australia and in Brazil. The trap configurations here were the BG Pro Sentinel style versus the original BG Sentinel. Here in the semi-field studies that were conducted in Australia, um, which we see on the left, we saw a significant difference. Over two times more collected Aedes aegypti per 60 minutes compared to the original Sentinel trap. And that really surprised us because the Sentinel is considered the golden standard for uh, aegypti monitoring. But looking at the results in Brazil, this really confirmed um, the results in Australia. We saw here over five times uh, the amount of collection rate of Aedes aegypti females in the BG Pro Sentinel style compared to the original Sentinel. So all in all, the BG Pro really significantly outperformed the BG Sentinel for Aedes aegypti collections in both Australia and Brazil. Here we focus on the catch efficacy of the BG Pro compared to the Sentinel in collecting Aedes albopictus, and the locations here were in France and in the US. On the left side, the BG Pro Sentinel style was compared with the BG Mosquitaire, which is the commercial version of the BG Sentinel trap. And we saw here that the original Mosquitaire or Sentinel trap slightly outperformed or significantly outperformed the BG Pro in collecting Aedes albopictus in France. A similar experiment in the US, which is here on the right, um, showed no significant difference between um, the B original BG Sentinel and the BG Pro uh, Sentinel style. This experiment here in the US, they threw in a third trap type, which is the original CDC trap. And we see here both the original Sentinel trap and the BG Pro trap significantly outperform the CDC trap um, in collecting Aedes albopictus uh, females in the US. Now just to round everything up, we also wanted to see whether or not the BG Pro was efficient in collecting Anopheles species. So this next experiment was conducted in Mozambique. In this trial, the mosquitoes were only identified to genus due to a lack of proper laboratory equipment. The difference in catch rates that we saw between the BG Pro and the BG Sentinel were unfortunately not significantly different, um, but this was most likely due to the general low catch numbers per 48 hours that we were seeing here. So you can see here anywhere between one and three mosquitoes per 48 hours. So unfortunately, we weren't able to see a high trend here, um, and I'm sure more studies are along the way. The last experiment that I would like to present today was conducted in the US and compared the BG Pro with and without light to the CDC trap with and without light. Now here we targeted just all female mosquitoes that we were collecting. It was up to 17 species with uh, predominantly Culiceta melanura and some Aedes albopictus. And you can see here that both the BG Pro versions with and without light significantly outperformed uh, the CDC versions with and without light. Here we saw no significant difference whether or not a light was added to the CDC trap. But interestingly, we saw a big difference, a significant difference um, when adding light to the BG BG Pro um, in collecting female mosquitoes in the US. 
So in conclusion, while mosquito traps have been around since the early 1900s, recently a new modular mosquito trap called the BG Pro has been developed with several advantages, including robustness and high quality at a cheaper price, flexibility, less energy consumption, and probably the biggest advantage being that it can be used with a power bank. With these 10 experiments that I have just presented, we have demonstrated that depending on the target species, the BG Pro in its respective configurations is in most cases as good or significantly better than the conventional surveillance traps and can therefore be a powerful tool used for the surveillance of mosquito species. And with that, I would like to thank everybody for the attention and hopefully I will be able to answer some questions now. Thank you.